I uh, talked with uh, Lee White. He mentioned to me about your, uh, what you think about doing today and the two people or the judge. Yeah. And I think this is excellent. I think both of them are good men. I want to do it if your people want me to do it. I don't want to do it just because they serve them up and got no one else because I've got 40 men that would like to have a judge. But if these are the best ones, uh, in the community, and we can give them some recognition, and our people will understand it, and you all can do something about letting them know that I'm not a hater and a, a bigot. You all, you know that, but most of the, a lot of them don't. They keep saying I have all this trouble in the Negro community, and I've never heard a Negro say that. Well, I haven't, I haven't either. I don't, uh, uh, I've got a new secretary here. Do you know this little Whittington girl? About that. That's really well, she's in my office, and she's my personal secretary, and I took her to church with me yesterday in Stonewall, Texas, and uh, uh, she stayed in my home down there for two weeks, and the most competent person in the world. But uh, we're just doing fine. I've got to get two good civil rights commissioners. I want to appoint these judges, but I keep reading in the columnists where they don't quote you, and they don't quote Roy Wilkins, and they don't quote Farmer, and they don't quote Martin Luther King, and they don't quote Phil Randolph, because every damn one of them knows that I'm stronger for them than yet anybody around this place, and have been all these years. Well, uh, you, you know, last night in the TV film, I don't know what you saw, the uh, dude is the president, the job facing you, and all this. Oh, I didn't. Well, they quoted again from us and showed pictures of our meeting with you. Well, that's good. And this was awfully good business, though. Well, but Jet Magazine... Jet did. Well, now, Jet, this past week, uh, talked about Miss Whittington, and, and I think their whole tone has changed after I talked with you. Oh, that's good, then. That's good. I hadn't seen it. I just see it when it's bad. Well, they have a beautiful story on Miss Whittington and... Now, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Now, but you see, some of these people, they figure their role, just like they were with JFK, they figure their role is to, uh, is to stick pins in but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't get too concerned about this. If well, I do want to get concerned because I want them to know that I'm their friend. Well, you make moves like you think to do today. You don't have any question on this. Well, but I'm afraid they just think, well, that's because that somebody recommended him is with Kennedy. No, uh, this won't happen. All right. Now, if you want it, it'll be done. I want it. Now, the president wanted it, and he would have done it. And I feel like I've got an obligation to it, but I don't want to do it. Unless the whole Negro community knows that I'm doing it and the Democrats have done it and it was this damn jet and the rest of them quit cutting us up saying we hate the niggers. Yeah, well, no, no, you, you won't have that to worry about. This is what we want. All right, it'll be done. All right. Thank you, Whitney. Thank you. And you, you be my ambassador. I'll talk to him about it. Okay. All right. I'll do it. Bye.